just like it. Yeah. And what I would do to, I would personally do things to get that son to True. be like my son. Love that Amen. Son. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is God's perfect son. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. We thank God. Yes, we do. Amen. 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 Selection. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Praise him. Yes. Amen. Give him all the glory. Yes, he Give is. Give all the honor. Yes. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. Amen. Praise um, God. Mm. We're in the book of uh, Ephesians. Mm -hmm. We read from Ephesians 4, but I think uh, the Spirit will be to go to Ephesians chapter 2, mm -hmm. uh, verses... Uh, Eleven through twenty-two. I think it speaks volumes of the <clears throat> expectations that God uh, is looking for in His the believer and His and the transformation, mm -hmm. transforming work of the Holy Spirit. Because when you first got saved. I mean, first born again, <clears throat> we were all like wild goats. Yes, we were. But God has tamed us and having us to be like little lambs. Hallelujah. And I'd rather be a live dog <clears throat> than a dead lion. Amen. Remember that. <clears throat> Therefore, mm -hmm. remember that once you Gentiles in the flesh, those who are called uncircumcision, that would be the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. And by which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hand. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that you were at that time mm -hmm. apart from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, mm -hmm. strangers of the covenant and promises having no hope and without God in the world. Mm -hmm. But now in Christ, mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus, you were you you who are what or far off become near in the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. For he himself is our peace. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he is. Who has made both one, both one, and broken down the middle of the wall mm -hmm. of petition of enmity. Thank you, Lord. Abolishing in the flesh mm -hmm. the law of the commandments and orders that he might create to himself into one new man. Making peace and might reconcile both in the body of God through the cross, having slain the enmity by it. And coming, he announced peace as the gospel to you who were fall, and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in the Spirit unto the Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank through him you are no longer strangers and sojourners, yes, but you're one fellow citizen with the saints and members of the household of God, being built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Christ Jesus himself being the chief cornerstone, mm -hmm. in whom all the buildings have been fitly together, is grown into a holy temple in the Lord, on whom also you are being built together, built together in a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. In Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, the topic this morning is the Amen. new creation, mm -hmm. the new man. Mm -hmm. The new man. 
Yes, that, that, that new man, that one that deals with discipline, that one that deals with trials and tribulations, yes, he is that new man because he understands what the rewards of being that new man. Father, in Jesus' precious name, we come to you thanking you and praising you and giving you honor and giving you glory and magnifying you now because you're King of kings and you're Lord of lords. Yes, Speak spirit to the church that we might hear what the spirit has to say. We come against every demon, every evil spirit, every unclean spirit, every prejudiced spirit. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus. We cast it out that you may take full full dwelling place in our hearts and in our minds, the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you again in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. 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 The new creature. Mm -hmm. uh, the new creature is actually described in the book of 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, mm -hmm. chapter 5, verses 17. Mm -hmm. It says, Therefore, if any man In Christ, he's a new creature. Amen. In a man, being Christ, he's a new creature. If you look at the way the uh, uh, Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen words it. It says a lot to us. And if you look at it, it says that. So if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. And if it's a new creation, it was not previously something old. And now it shined up to be something different. It, it was a entirely new creation. Well, right now, now I, I, when, you, when, when you ladies have a baby, mm -hmm. a new creation has come into the world. Mm -hmm. So in Christ, when he birthed us, and by the Spirit, a new creation is, is born. Brand new. Not by flesh, not by blood, mm -hmm. but by the will of Almighty God. We are a new creation. Mm -hmm. Now that new creation... In order to resemble what it has been designed for, it must leave the old, must not take on anything of the old creation. Mm -hmm. right? right? If it's new, right. it, it's, it, it, it wasn't designed to take on the old creation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's designed to take on the new thoughts and of the one who's, who brought us out. I hope you see that. Mm -hmm. Now, it says if <coughs> you're in Christ, mm -hmm. and there's a possibility that he was talking to those who, who were not in Christ because there, there are two groups, those who have been born again and those who have not been born again. Mm -hmm. Those who rely on their own works, those who rely on their own prestigious the own other, other things they have in their life that make them feel comfortable being a Christian. And I use that word lightly because many people say they're Christians and they have no understanding of what, who a Christian really is. Mm -hmm. Now he says, if any man be in Christ, mm -hmm. he's a new creation. Yes. And that goes back to verse 14 in your, in your book here. Uh, 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 2 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. For the love of Christ constrains us. Mm -hmm. We have judged that one died for all, therefore all died. Mm -hmm. Where did we die? At the cross. Mm -hmm. Christ took us all to the cross. Mm -hmm. Go to the book of, of, um, of um, Romans chapter Chapter 6. Mm -hmm. This is where we died at. Mm -hmm. and, and in Christ we were raised to 
a higher calling. We're, we're new creatures. What then shall we say? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Absolutely not. We who have died to sin, how shall we still live in it? He did say we're dead to sin, so how can we still live in it? Are you ignorant that all of us who have been baptized into Christ have been baptized into his death? That being buried with him through the operation of the baptism to his death in the order that Christ as Christ raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, so also we might walk where? Life. And that is that new man. Life. Paul even talks it here in the book of, of Romans, mentioned again in first and second Corinthians. Mm -hmm. If any man be in Christ, he's a what? Mm -hmm. New creature. Mm -hmm. So he says that you can walk in the newness of life. Mm -hmm. You before the new birth, you had to walk the same way you walk before you even met Jesus. Yeah. And that's why he talked about the Gentiles. <laughs> Uh, not knowing God, not alienated from the promises of God and everything, you still kept that same mentality, the same thing you were doing. But once you become a believer, you are a what? A new creature. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and if you're in Christ, you should practice that which is in Christ. Yes. Let's go back to this point here. There's a husband, right? Mm -hmm. There's a true vine, and then there's the branches. Mm -hmm. God so loved the world through the true vine, the branches should so love the world the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. The husband, which is the father, loved the world. Mm -hmm. He sent the true vine, and the true vine has branches, mm -hmm. and this should produce the same fruit that the true vine produces yeah, right. that so comes from the husband. Yeah. See that? Yeah. And so when Jesus died on the cross, he killed off the old man mm -hmm. of the old damnic nature mm -hmm. and gave us the spirit of Christ that we could walk where? In the newness of life, which is a new man. We have, the, we have Christ in us. That's the new man that we have in us. Before, it was the old Adamic nature that ran our life. But when we trusted Christ as our personal Savior, he came in. He set up housekeeping. He wants to run our life and, and, and display his love for, for the world in us. The same love that was in Christ, in the Father, went through the, the, the true vine into the branches. So the branches can only produce that which the true vine and the husband send through that. You see what I'm saying? So if, if, if a, branch, a branch is producing something other than Christ, it is not a, a true vine, right. mm -hmm. a true branch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's get let's look at this. For verse five says, "For if we have been, and we have grown together with him mm -hmm. in the likeness of his death, indeed we also shall be with him in the likeness of his resurrection." Yes, so we we'll walk in the spirit, even though we have these fleshly bodies. These fleshly bodies are not the completely authority of the Holy Spirit. But we have to be the ones who want that and desire that. Because we still have a what? Our free will. And Jesus said, uh, you've seen me, you've seen the Father. What I'm doing is of the Father. I'm doing the God's will. So if you're doing God's will, then you're, you're producing the same fruit that goes through the what? The vine. And the vine should display the same fruit branches should be displaying the same fruit that comes through the, 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 the vine. Mm -hmm. Knowing that our old man, verse mm -hmm. 6, <clears throat> our old man, the old fellow, the old Adamic man, mm -hmm. has been crucified. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, Jesus said the first man was, was a soul man. Mm -hmm. well, I think we he said a little bit like he was an earthy man. He was mm -hmm. from the soul. God uh, stooped down into the earth and uh, uh, formed a man. He became a what? A living soul. Yes. The, the last Adam, the, the second man, became a living spirit. Mm -hmm. Even though he had a, 
he had a bunch of he had a, a body of flesh, he, but he was not a soul man. He was a what? Spiritual man. Spiritual man. So when Christ died and rose again on the third day, he made it us to have access to him. So we received him as our personal savior. So we became spiritual men also and spiritual women, even though we live in a body of dust and ashes. But the but, but the spirit of God annuls or can annul anything of the flesh because the spirit is stronger than anything of the of the of the flesh. Jesus said, "Without me, you can do nothing." Amen. So if you're in this body, you have to be led and under the power. Of the Holy Spirit. Does that make sense? Amen. Now he says, knowing that an old man had been crucified with him, and all that the body of sin might be what? A law. That means brought under control. The body of sin just can't do what it want to do. Only way it can do what it want to do, either the will has been totally uh, annihilated or not in control, or either that the member of the body of Christ doesn't know the power that he has on the inside of him. So you can, you can, you can have a million dollars in a bank and be rich and not know it. And walking around digging out trash cans. You see what I'm saying? But once you know it, you go get your money and you do what you need to do with it to uh, act appropriately. So the, the, uh, many believers don't know that they have access or that power was, was, was is it within them? Mm -hmm. And they don't have to do everything the flesh asks them to do, or demand them to do, or attempt them to do, or desire to do, because the power of God is within them. You're under, you're under, under, under the power of the Holy Spirit. Then, verse 7 says, for, when he, for he who has died is justified from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, and we did, we believe that also we shall live with him, and I do. Yes. Knowing that Christ has been raised from the dead, does no does dies, hope, dies, does, dies, dies, dies no more. Dies no more. Mm -hmm. Death, death no more lords over him. Mm -hmm. yes. Death can't touch me. Can't touch yeah, I think that's a song about, about years ago. What's the name? Hammer. Oh, Hammer. Hammer. Can't touch me. <laughs> death can't touch me. Yeah. It hovers, but it can't yeah. touch me yeah. because of what? The life of Christ within me. Amen. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. For death have, for death which he died, he died once and for all. Yeah. But the life which he lives, he lives under God. We live under God because Christ lives under God. Amen. So also you reckon yourself to be dead to sin, but live unto God in in where? In Christ. You can't live to God outside of Christ. You had to be in Christ to live under God. And that's why the Bible teaches that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. If any woman be in Christ, she is a new creation. And being a new creation, you have to find out how you should conduct yourself as a new creation. And Ephesians tells us that also. Go back to Ephesians chapter chapter 4. Mm -hmm. uh, verses uh, above. Mm -hmm. Now see, it says, I be verse 4, I beseech you therefore, brethren, mm -hmm. as a prisoner of the Lord, to walk worthy. Mm -hmm. See, we're walking again. Mm -hmm. We're in Christ. Mm -hmm. Chapter 4 of Ephesians, verse 1. We may skip around a little bit, but I think it's going to be helpful to us. Therefore, uh, because what has been said, therefore, I, the prisoner of the Lord, to walk worthy of, of your calling, which is your uh, work. I'm sorry. I beseech you, therefore, uh, yeah. I, the prisoner of the Lord, to walk worthy of the calling for which you were what? Called. Oh. God called you yeah. to walk in Christ. Yes, sir. Amen? And yes. to have the life of Christ is the only way you can walk. Yes. And the resurrected life of Christ is the only way you can get over uh, some trials and tribulations as far as sin is concerned. Now listen, if you just because you've been born again, doesn't mean you're walking in the Spirit. That's true. That's true. You could be uh, just as sinful as anybody else. This is what Paul is, is dealing with with the, with the Ephesian believers. Just because 
you get saved don't mean your flesh is saved. Your flesh got some real problems here. Right? And your mind is still kind of screwed up from your word of thinking, from your flesh of thinking, right? Because yeah, you're a new man, but you need some work done here. Uh, as we spoke this morning, your soul got some issues, I mean, some real bad issues. And uh, that came from your your earthly father, Adam. He said, well, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, bearing one another, it what? Yeah. In love. Being diligent to keep the oneness of the Spirit and united in the bond of peace. One body, right, which is Christ, one Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, even as you are called, one hope for your calling. Amen. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Amen. We only got one Lord and one baptism when it places us into the body of Christ through the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We've all been baptized into Christ by one Spirit, whether we Jews or Gentiles, mm -hmm. been made to drink what? In one Spirit. The Jew and Gentile, if you are Gentile and you've been placed into the body of Christ, is there by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. If you are a Jew and you receive Christ as your personal Savior, you have the same Spirit. So there has to be a love connection here. And not the love connection of the human love or the human feeling because that will never occur. It has to be the love of God's Son operating in all of us to a degree that where we love each other in spite of our race, in spite of our color, in spite of our culture, we come together as one web in Christ Jesus. Amen. One God, one Father of all, mm -hmm. who is love all, through all, where, and in all. Mm -hmm. But each of us have been the grace was given to the, to the measure of the gift of Christ. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the scripture said, having ascended to, to the height, he led captives and taken captive and gave gifts unto men. Now listen to this. Now this, has, this he ascended what is except that he has descended into the lower parts of the earth, we're not going to get into all that, that he descended also one who ascended far above the heavens that he might fulfill all things. Mm -hmm. He's far up, he's all far, far down that he has got everything under his authority. Mm -hmm. right. It's just like this. He ascended, this is, this is the top of where he is and went down here and went back and so Christ is over everything. There are a lot of things out here, but Christ is over everything. He's King of King and He's Lord of Lord. He's sovereign over what? Everything. And we are in Him as we view Him from this high position. We see He's over everything. Of course, we have rules and laws and regulations mm -hmm. that work by in this in this in this in this, in this, in this system. But God is over all, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, he and, and He has new creatures living in this system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And new creatures living in this system must be creatures educated on the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you don't have the knowledge of Christ, then you're operating from the old Adamic nature. Mm -hmm. Am I right, Aaron? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Because your mind has to be what? Transformed. Amen. Be renewed. Yeah. If it's not being renewed, then you're still in the world system yeah. as far as thinking. Mm -hmm. But as far as your new birth is concerned, you could be baptized in the body of Christ, but having no understanding mm -hmm. of how what the new creature is to respond, how he acts, how he thinks, how he does what he goes by his, his daily life, you have no idea of that. Mm -hmm. And Paul helps us out here a little bit. Until, he said, now you have to do this till you come to a, a place that you have arrived. Mm -hmm. And you arrive because of your knowledge mm -hmm. of Christ. Because of mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, Earl, Claudette, all of you, now, you come together on a, we have the desire in our heart to come together. Mm -hmm. So we we learn more of Christ, the more coming together. Yeah. 
if, you, if your mind is set on things out here, there's always going to be what? Separation. Mm -hmm. But once a mind gathers knowledge of Christ and he's complete, he's over all everything, he wants us to come into oneness. We have to, the only way we can come into oneness is under him. No other way can we come under in, in oneness if we go in some basketball or football. You can't go there. But I'm saying in Christ, there is one person. So we come under what? Under him. And we can't get under him until we have knowledge of him. If you don't have knowledge of him, then you still may be a child of God. You still may be born again, but there is no oneness. Because there is no knowledge of how to pursue this oneness, how to gather this oneness. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. That sound all right, uh, Brother James? Mm -hmm. All right, now. He said, now, he, he tells it in the next verse. Verse 13, let's look at that. Until we arrive at the oneness of the faith and the full knowledge of what? It's of the Son of God. God. You got to have knowledge of him before there is any oneness occurs here. Full grown at the measure stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm -hmm. That we may be what? No, no longer. No see, if you if you if if, if 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 not going after Christ, every wind and doctrine that come along is gonna stop you. Or you question it. Or you may try to bring it along with you. <coughs> and bring it along with you, there is no oneness. Mm -hmm. Look what it says. Or you may read your footnote late, a little later, but I'm doing this right now. Mm -hmm. That you may no longer be in our little children tossed uh, uh, by waves and carried about with every wild teaching, every wind of teaching, uh -huh. and the slant of men, craftiness with, with a view to system of error. See, Satan is the God of this world. Yes, he is. And if you, you can't feed a believer in the oneness of Christ if you're feeding them something out of the world. Amen. You have to feed them the things that are Christ right. to have them come into oneness. Because the mind is, uh, is, is terrible. The mind is, is, has mm -hmm. problems. Yes, and so the scriptures help straighten our minds out. And let's go back to this for here. Verse 1, chapter 1 of, uh, of uh, Ephesians. And I want to look, want to look at, uh, I think it's verse 15. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, therefore, I've also heard of the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which is among you, and, and your love for what? All yes. saints. Yes. Mm -hmm. But look, look what it says. Mm -hmm. Do not cease giving thanks uh, for you, making mention you of my prayers. I, you know, I pray that you guys keep on loving each other. Mm -hmm. Listen to this though. Mm -hmm. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory, mm -hmm. may give you the spirit of what? Wisdom. Mm -hmm. And the revelation in what? The full knowledge of him. Of him. See, the full knowledge is what we need to keep us out of wind and doctrine and keep us out of cults and keep us out of tradition and keep us out of a bunch of mess. And we, we, we don't know where to go. We don't go get out. No, stay with Christ. If you have a full knowledge of him, the more you, you learn of Christ, the more you can follow him properly. Amen. As a new creature. Mm -hmm. See, the new creature wants to one day be just like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Look what it says there. That the eyes of your understanding, mm -hmm. the eyes of your heart being enlightened, mm -hmm. that you may know what is a hope of his calling. Yes. What's it called? That you be just like Jesus. Yes. Amen. But you got to have, have knowledge to be just like Jesus. You yes. got to have knowledge of him to be just like Jesus. Amen. Right? I beseech you therefore, brother, by the mercy of God, you present what? Your body as a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And be not conformed to the world, but be renewed in your mind. Yes. And this is what he's talking about. Be renewed in your mind so you have a knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you'll be able to conduct yourself as the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Spirit is going to lead you and guide you only in that which is Christ. Yes. Amen. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. the, the Spirit will lead yes. you into something that he yes. had no part of. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. 
the new creature now, he, now the one thing I said about the new creature, mm -hmm. and I think the Bible verifies it, that he's a, he's quite a creature. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm saying it because nobody, nobody understands it. Do your, do your people understand you? No. <laughs> do, your, do, do your neighbor understand you? No. The people you work with, they don't understand you. He, you're a new creature. The new creature doesn't entertain the thoughts of the world. Amen. And the more you learn of Christ, the less the thoughts they have affect you. Why don't you run with us no more? You ain't going to the to the black path of me? You didn't go to the black movement and had the black move on? The black you, you didn't go to it? Why? Why you go to it? No. You didn't go to the black panther movement? Mm -hmm. Someone asked me about it. Why should I go to the black it's panther movement? I got to try to find out more about Jesus because he's a, he's, a, he's a lion, the tribe of Judah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, once you, get, once you get this stuff in your head, mm -hmm. it takes a lot to get it out of your head. Because the same one is use your your emotions, mm. your thoughts, mm. your intentions, your desires, your your hopelessness, your prejudices, your your, your discrimination. He used all of that mm -hmm. to justify why you should be thinking what you think. Mm -hmm. But the Bible teaches that Jesus doesn't think that way. Mm -hmm. True, right. The new creature doesn't think that way. Mm -hmm. Right. The new creature thinks like what? Thinks like Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Bible says so yet. Yeah. That the God of, of the Lord Jesus Christ may give you the spirit of wisdom mm -hmm. where you can appropriately apply Christ to every situation. Mm -hmm. Is Christ here? Is he in this? Mm -hmm. Should I partake of this? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, and the spirit is going to help you mm -hmm. to guide you, to lead you into all the truth mm -hmm. that pertain to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Not to lead you into something that is not Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, you remember that... Uh, and this is going back to the suffering of uh, Earl Scott this morning. You know, when April and Joseph, Job went through his suffering. Mm -hmm. And he, he loved God. Mm -hmm. And he uh, hewed everything that was against God. He, he hated it. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, here comes Satan mm -hmm. to try him. Mm -hmm. You see? No, and I get disciplined and trying with all in there. Mm -hmm. But after it was all over, you look at, uh, he, at uh, Job. He said, I heard of you with my ear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Now I see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a big difference in, in suffering. Suffering brings us to a place where we can see. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. We can see. Mm -hmm. Without suffering, I'm, I'm sad to you. Many of us will never see. That's true. Never see Christ. That's true. That's true. That's true. Because Amen. suffering is the only thing that can bring us to a, a place where we spiritually see him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And what he's doing in our life. Amen. And here Paul is saying the same thing. If you hung up on this stuff out here when you can see, mm -hmm. you will never see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. But breaking loose from this stuff gives you an insight into where he is. Don't let this stuff Tag on and hang on to you. Don't be precious. Don't be discriminatory. Don't be like that. Mm -hmm. Christ was not like that. Because he said, God so loved the world that he what? He didn't just love the world and give it for blacks or whites or yellow or brown or green. He gave it for the whole world. So the branches, the new branches in Christ should be bearing the same fruit. Is what we're talking about. Amen. Every believer that's a new creature should be practicing those things that Christ practiced. Yes. Amen. 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 Let's go back to uh, chapter 5 of the same book that we just didn't miss it here. Mm -hmm. Where Christ first one. Mm -hmm. Therefore be what? Imitators. Of who? Of God. As you love the children. As you children. Uh, as Joseph Bean said, you is children. You is children. So if you're God's children, I mean God's children, you should be conducting yourself like God. Amen. Let's go back again to the to the root. 
to the, to the husband. Right? Mm -hmm. That's his God. And what flows out of the, the, out of the husband? The true vine. Mm -hmm. And what's on the true vine? His branches. Mm -hmm. So the same thing that's flowing out of the husband through the true vine should be in the branches. In the branches. Mm -hmm. Because we are what? New creations. Mm -hmm. So the same thing. So we can't deny that these scriptures are verify the fact that if you're a new creature, you should be living a life that glorifies God. Mm -hmm. The things that I do that are not my things, Jesus said, but the things of him that dwell on the inside of me. The words that I speak, they're not my words, but the words of him that dwell on the inside of me. So whenever we're talking, whenever we're sharing someone, it should be our thinking here. It should be that one that dwells on the inside. As we talked this morning a little bit, or whatever I was teaching, if you don't have Stop meddling and, and, and present Christ. Mm -hmm. Stop being a bitch about it and present Christ. Amen. Amen. If you can't present Christ, apparently there's something hindering it from being expressed. Amen. You, you don't know Christ. You don't know him in that manner. So best bet is just be quiet. Amen. And don't mess up. Anything. Don't try to fix something if you don't have all the, the fixing, how to fix it. Because you can't mess up. Because when you start fixing stuff, instead of you allowing Christ to fix it through you, you get to bring in other stuff out here from the world and from your own thinking and make, maybe help try to get them to fix it. It won't fix it. Amen. Only thing will fix it is Christ. Mm -hmm. Now he says here, therefore, imitators of God. Mm -hmm. Be imitators of God. How do you be imitators of God? By being an imitator of Christ. Amen. By allowing Christ to live what? Through you Amen. and display Christ through you Amen. and display Christ's love through you. Amen. And therefore, Jew or Gentile, mm -hmm. you become this one new creature. Amen. You are a new creature, you are a new creature, I'm a new creature, but a Jew also the new creature. And then that new creature is put what? On display. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then those 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 creatures that become new creatures can't bring anything over. From the old creation. Amen. If not, then they can't be new creatures. Amen. You're phonies. You're hypocrites. You're liars. You see what I'm saying? You're masquerading as a Christian or new creature. At the same time, you're bogged down and all this stuff in the world system. Amen. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Amen. One more press I think we'll look at. We did that last mm -hmm. last Wednesday night, book of uh, Colossians. Mm -hmm. Let's look at um, chapter two, verses uh, verse eight. Mm -hmm. And Paul again, I, I I think it was a real problem in the in the in the, in, the, uh, in church life. I think there was a real problem in church life. Of getting to a place where uh, the church was growing in Christ. Mm -hmm. You have to understand this. Now, just because the church is growing, what, when you say church is growing, what, what, what are we saying? Most of the time we're talking about numbers. numbers. Uh, numbers. Oh, you got 5,000 over there, Doc. What you doing? Get on. And then we try to find a way to get them over there and how we can get them over there. So we start telling lies and, uh, and going along with stuff. And <laughs> before we know we got, we, got a, we got a big group over here. Doc. Doc and all that kind of stuff. What'd you do to get that crowd in? You told lies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you, and you was a hypocrite. Yeah. Well, you didn't tell the truth. Yeah. If you right. told the truth, half of them would leave. Maybe yeah. more than half would leave. Yeah. Right. Mm. You didn't preach the truth. Well. If you preached the truth, those mm. that belong to Christ would have stayed. Mm. And those that didn't belong to Christ would have left. Yeah. 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 Right. He puts me, he said, beware. See, yeah. Paul again is, is addressing this, this, this new creature here. Mm -hmm. I'm a new creature, right? Mm -hmm. And I need, if I'm, if I'm a new creature, I want to know what God wants of me. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want to know what he doesn't want me to get involved with. Amen. Because already I warned me, uh, don't be carried about with every wind and doctrine that comes along. Mm -hmm. So Paul going to help me here as to what not to be carried along with, right? right. And if you share with people, uh, or the message of the gospel, you have to understand how to apply this. Mm. If not, they're going to defend it instead of give way to the truth. Mm -hmm. So
So look what Paul says. Beware. Beware. Uh, that no one, and that word no one would, would include pastors, deacons, trustees. It would include all those uh, masquerading women, men, books, uh, seminars, uh, teaching, money, prestige, power, pride. Hey, just, just be careful here, Colossians, that none of this carries you away. He said, carries you and make you what? Spoil. And spoil has to do with something, you ladies can probably put a good definition on spoil. What does spoil actually mean, you think? Right. No good. No, no worth. No value. And you want to be a value to who? Christ. But if you spoil with all this other mess, you're no value to him. And Christ is not involved with any of this, but you're entertaining it. So Paul warns them, says, uh, oh, be, beware, watch out, watch out, that no one carries you off as spoil. As spoil. Mm -hmm. Through philosophy. And some of these uh, men out here speak great words of philosophy. Mm -hmm. And empty, empty deceit. Empty. They, they tell the lies, but they got nothing in them. It's like having a bag with nothing in it. All swollen up, and I got a big bag, and got nothing in it. The lies of deceit, according to the tradition. See, again, they go back to the tradition. And this is where a nigga did thank you, Jesus, was hung up in. He was hung up in tradition. The Mosaic tradition. The Mosaic laws and rules and regulations. Jesus didn't curse it. I didn't say that. But he said, that in order for you to see, you got to be born again. And once you're born again, you have to leave all the tradition and rhetoric and stuff that don't even have nothing to do with Jesus. A good example of that was when Jesus went to the temple, right? Mm -hmm. He went to the temple. The temple were uh, people in there selling and buying and, mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, cheating. And, uh, uh, whatever they were doing in that mm -hmm. And Jesus said, get out of here. Mm -hmm. You made my uh, father's house. It should be a house of prayer. You make it a house of merchandise. You bunch of thieves, get out of here. You're selling and buying in my father's house. Mm -hmm. So exactly what was going on there was what Jesus is not about. True. Mm -hmm. right. He's not about buying and selling. Right. All right. You see what I'm saying? Yes, come on, Harvey. Come on. If, if, you, if you want to bring something over, it can't be that. Mm -hmm. It has to be just Christ and Christ alone. Amen. Look what it says here. Elements of the world. Mm -hmm. So that means that if you got some people that are involved with a uh, uh, special movement, the creature can't, the new creature can't, can't get involved with that. Because he, he got Christ. Yeah. What are you going to get involved with something that's Actually fading away. Then actually going back to the dust one day. Amen. Right, Earl? Mm -hmm. How can it get involved with something like that? The culture that we have. Mm -hmm. You got a black culture, and a white culture, and a Japanese culture, and a Chinese culture, and the Korean culture. And now we with the Hispanic culture. You got all these cultures. Mm -hmm. And the preacher gets in the pulpit, he got to preach to, to that culture. Well, the new Christian doesn't preach to a culture. He preached to people that have been delivered yeah. from culture. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He Amen. preached Amen. Jesus. Amen. And Jesus alone. Amen. Because he's Lord of Lord and what? King of Kings. He's everything. You can't bring anything out of the old creation into the new creation. We have to stay with Jesus. Does that make sense? Amen. He says, for in him, verse 9, Look at that, he said. For in him dwells fullness. It's in him. Why you got to bring something else over trying to fill up something when you got everything you need? Amen. See what I'm saying? Why you get involved with that? All the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And you not and you have been made full well. In him. So you don't need anything else in you. You got Christ. Mm -hmm. This new creature that I said before is it's unique. There's nobody like him. No. There's nobody like the New Testament church that's fallen after Christ. Mm -hmm. That living a life in spirit mm -hmm. instead of tradition and things of that nature. Then it says, you have been made full in him mm -hmm. 
who is the head of all principality and authority, in, in him also you were circumcised from the world. Amen. You were cut off from the world. Amen. If you understand what circumcision is. Uh -huh. The Jew did it to identify with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been identified, cut off with, with, uh, from the world to be identified with Christ and his church. Uh -huh. So we don't take anything from the world over into, into the new creation. Amen. The new creation can exist without the old creation having anything to do with it. That makes sense? Right. And also you're circumcised with the circumcision not, see, not made with hands mm -hmm. in putting off the body of flesh in the circumcision of Christ. Mm -hmm. Bear it together with him in baptism mm -hmm. in which you, were, you were, ra were, were raised together with him through the faith and operation of God who raised him well from the dead. He's raised from the dead. He's no longer there. And through the dead, your offenses and circumstances of your flesh be made, made alive together with him, together having forgiven you of all your trespasses. Look, look what it says here. All your offenses. Mm -hmm. Wiping out the handwriting orders which were against you. He's talking to Jew and Gentile here. Mm -hmm. Which was contrary to us. And has taken out of the way. Nailed away the Nailed it to the cross. <laughs> he nailed everything you got. Everything you ever did. He nailed to the cross. Thank you, Jesus. All of lies you told. All the sin you were involved with. He took it nailed to the cross. Amen. So you can't go out and point at somebody else. Right? Because what are you doing now? His sins were nailed to the cross. Might be right next to yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> might be. Yeah. We, all, we, we all know what they, they were all near yeah. to the cross. Amen. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, he was telling them. Um, right. Me and Claude was talking about something. I said, well, when you get married, you, you, you marry the, the woman, the man, you, and you don't know nothing. All you know is whatever you know. You just think, oh, man, I got a nice way. You find out she'll, she's a she's a seller. And she later on she find out you you're a big son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you got two two sons here, mm -hmm. and all they doing is pointing fingers. Mm -hmm. This pointing finger at, 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 at you, your son, and you point out my fault, and I point out your fault. And God has already nailed to the cross. The thing for us to do to come together in one in Christ and live this new creation. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Without that, then there'll always be this. You did that. You did that. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. I, I, you, I, I, no, you, you made me do this. Nobody made you do it that you did it because you wanted to. Amen. Amen. You did it because you wanted to get back at him or her. That's Amen. what you did. But Amen. Christ is, is, but Paul is moving all this stuff out of the way. You got to forgive each other, reconcile each other, and live out this new creation. Amen. Because the world needs to see this new creation. Amen. Amen. It needs to see the husband and wife. It needs to see the family life. Yeah. It needs to see all of that. Mm -hmm. But it's not happening because we all hold so much of this worldly stuff in us. Mm -hmm. So God right now, like Errol said this morning, is disciplining us, mm -hmm. is trying us to break the soul life where we can present Christ in spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Amen. Now look what it says here. Stripping off the what? Stripping off the what? Nothing should rule over you but Jesus. Authority, no, no one should have an authority over you. I'm talking the local government and system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They obey the laws of the land, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. But in ultimately, mm -hmm. Christ should be your own supreme ruler. Yes, he, he made a display of them openly, trumpeting them over in it. Let no one therefore what? Judge you. Let no one therefore judge yes. you. Because of what Christ has accomplished mm -hmm. in eating mm -hmm. or drinking mm -hmm. or respect of a feast or a new moon or Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody put you under the law. Right. Don't, don't let them put you under the law. Christ has, 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 has dealt with that. He set you free. You see what I'm saying? You ought to be free. Amen. If you don't get here on Sunday, nobody will hold, yeah. hold no grudges yeah. against you. Yeah. If you don't get here on Wednesday night, at least, ain't nobody going to hold no grudges against you. 
praise the Lord. Listen, you don't forget me. He said, everybody hold on, brother. This is glad to see you. All, all this stuff now, some, some ministers will use this as a guilt and make you feel guilty. And you go around trying to please everybody because you got this guilt feeling. But Christ took you for under the, under the law, under all authority, and placed you under him where he went to the cross and took it all to the cross. Which are a shadow of things to come, but the body of Christ. Let, what, let, let no, no one defraud you or take away or fool you by judging you unworthy of your prize in, if in self-chosen hope. See, some people go around and choose to be holy. Or some people under this holiest teaching where well, you can't, can't go see doctors. You can't see nurses. You don't need nothing. God will take care of you. Yes, he will take care of you, but you'll, you'll have sense enough to do something for yourself. Amen. But see, Amen. that they ruin this teaching. What have you under this, 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 this minister or under this denomination where you're afraid to step out from anything because you're not under Christ, you're under that. Amen. I'm not ashamed. I know some people like that. You said nothing. I know a young fellow that's up. I think he's a Joe Witness. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm. he has some problems. He needs to see the doctor. But he's hesitant. There are religions that actually teach um, that you you don't see the doctor. You just suffer. You suffer with Jesus. Well, you sit. And you look very carefully that Paul carried who with him? Luke. Luke was a doctor. Not saying that Luke, he doesn't say what Luke did anything, but he was with Paul. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there were many people that they met in that journey that Luke could assist. We, we, we gotta let this, we gotta let wisdom happen here. Yes, we do. We can't cut yeah. the Holy Spirit off it and let him stay out here. He can give us some wisdom. Mm -hmm. So we got a doctor with him. Yeah, he writes the scripture that he wrote the, he wrote the book of Acts, but at the same he wrote the book of Luke, but at the same time, if he's a doctor, why not use him if somebody got a headache? Yeah. Now, Amen. I want to use it if uh, somebody has a go to this religion, somebody has a, a stump toe and has, has it's been infected. Right. True. Huh? Right. What's, what's wrong with that? I, I guess Paul would pray over it, but what, Luke, Luke, you take care of that. If that's the case. You see what I'm talking about? A small item like that. Amen. I would take advantage of that. That's right. Amen. You see, but there, there are sometimes I think that Paul uh, said, well, I got this. The Lord will take care of this. But you don't, mm -hmm. you don't, you just don't, don't just fall on some other thought and just stay there, stay there suffering, suffering when there could be some medication or something to help you with the pain. Amen. You see? Mm -hmm. Doctors are here for some reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I, I know one thing. If I, if I, if my, I had y'all and John as me and my brother both. If God, if dad had took me to the doctor and we got to come I'd be dead. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be here today. Mm -hmm. God called me. So I went out along the way that. Before I had any sense, why not take care of me? Take care of me, dog. God took care of me. Took, took my dad had it right. Go carry that boy to the hospital. Carry that boy to the hospital. They got yellow johns. You see what I'm saying? And they doctor gave them. We back running around like four or five days, just like it was before. But if he'd been stubborn in this, in this kind of religion, that some folk got out here, I'd, me and him both would have been dead. And me and him both would have been. Uh, been no use to anybody who have been dead. Amen. That's what Paul is talking about here. Don't be so naive yeah. in thinking that every time somebody says something, you got to jump in their authority. Mm -hmm. Every time a denomination teaches them, you got to go follow along with it. No, you're under Christ. Amen. And let Christ do the teaching. Yeah. Let Christ do the leading. Amen. And you answer to Christ, you don't answer to no man. You don't answer to me, Elder Miles. Nobody, you don't ask anybody but Christ. Amen. But you respect us. Yeah. And you do ask us as far as administration for that. But the ultimate person you ask to do is Jesus Christ yes. and not me. Amen. 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 That's why you should learn everything you can about Jesus. That's right. Amen. Amen. And when I step overboard, you know it. Amen. When I step overboard, you know it. Amen. You ain't even looking at us. But we're just human beings with the flesh and blood like the rest of you. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Don't, don't be carried away with stuff like that. Amen. I say, say, let no man defraud you in judging unworthy of your prize and self-chosen 
lowliness and worship our angels. And you got people that, that worship the angels. Mm -hmm. Dwelling in, in things which they have not, have, tell the thing where they ain't been seen. It's a lie. They just said it. Amen. Verily puffed up uh, in his own mind of mm -hmm. the flesh. I can tell this. They, they get along with, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, and you sitting there, eyes wide open. They <laughs> God did do that for you. Stay with Jesus. Amen. Stay under his authority. Amen. He's going to lead you. Amen. See, now, I was, I was called. Uh, you heard it before. I was called back in 1977 to, to Jesus. There was a light and there was a voice. My wife right there in the room with me. She didn't see it. She didn't hear it. <clears throat> and I... I I insisted on you had to hear it. You had to hear the voice. She said, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I said, you, you had to see the light then. She said, I ain't seen no light. She said, I ain't seen the light. And she looked at me kind of funny. I said, maybe I lost my mind. <laughs> but anyway, the thing was that you can take that and build a ministry. Before you come to Jesus, you got to see the light. You got to hear the voice. And you know what? That, now you go to this dark room, sit there until you hear a light, until you see Jesus or hear a light. And you sit there long enough, your mind itself will produce something that, uh, that may be said there's a light. And you're going to hear voices. Because the devil going to talk too. Amen. Oh, I saw the light. I heard the voice. And run back out here. And you're a member of, of the of Harvest Church. So, body and mind, that's all. You ain't been born again. All you heard when you saw a light, you heard a voice. Mm -hmm. And you got the place where you teach uh, people how to speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. what, what is that? Yeah. This is what Paul is talking about here. Yeah. You're under Christ. If you're going to speak in tongues, he's the one that allows you to speak in tongues or urges you to speak in tongues. You don't go around seeking a place where you can learn how to speak in tongues. Amen. That's going to educate how to speak in tongues. And then when you speak, you don't know what you're saying. You're just blabbing stuff out your, your face. You don't know what you're saying. You don't. You sure don't. And if, 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 that, if that was an interpreter there, he don't know what you're saying either. <laughs> well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Look at this. Verse 23, then we'll close. Such, talking about all this other stuff made previously, such things indeed have a reputation mm -hmm. yep. of wisdom imposed, worship, and loathing and, and servant severe treatment of the body, mm -hmm. but as not for any value against the indulgence of the flesh. It will never produce anything. And I want to do one more with what Earl spoke on the other day. Mm -hmm. Out of the book of Philippians. And we'll close that. Mm -hmm. Four. What was it? Four. Three. Three one. Three something. Three. Chapter three. Oh, okay. About it. Paul had given up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now tell me if yeah, chapter 3, verse, start at verse 7. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at what Paul previously had. What did he have? He had a well-educated, mm -hmm. religious mind, mm -hmm. sitting in the seat of Gamaliel. Mm -hmm. Had a reputation, had money, had fame, mm -hmm. yeah. had power, yeah. had authority, yeah. had all that. I mean, what else could a man need? He probably had the finest chair that the, that the, uh, the most assets mm -hmm. could offer him. He probably had a great lodging place where he stayed. Mm -hmm. He probably, uh, we don't know whether they had children or not. They could have. Mm -hmm. Don't know whether they had a wife or not, but they could have. Mm -hmm. that, that, was, that was never mentioned in my poem. Mm -hmm. But I do know one thing. Paul said what? But I, all things. Mm -hmm. He belonged to a special club. Mm -hmm. He belonged to the Pharisees. And also mm -hmm. he belonged to the, to, no, he was a Pharisee. I don't think it was a Pharisee. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. He was a Pharisee. Mm -hmm. He belonged to a special group. You see, that makes you feel good when you belong to something special like a group. Mm -hmm. Some people belong to the Masons, some people belong to the yeah. uh, other yeah. groups. Uh, the East, uh, uh, whatever that group. East, mm -hmm. Easter Star, mm -hmm. the groups. I doubt mm -hmm. that. Make you feel the Masons, make you feel privileged. Mm -hmm. But he, Paul said, I cut all that loose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut a bit, a bit of that loose. Mm -hmm. Because I, I can't break, I couldn't bring that stuff over here. Mm -hmm. As a new creature, I couldn't bring it away. I could bring it, but it would serve no real purpose. There was no value in it. It's all going back to the dust on which it came. Amen. Then it says, but what things are, uh, were gained to me, uh, those I have kind of what? Lost. Now he said he just lost them. 
He said, "There ain't nothing." Amen. Mm-hmm. Account of a what? Christ. Christ. This life. Yes. The new creature's growing. Yes. I can't grow yes. for this. Glory. I can't. This ain't no. This ain't God. God ain't got nothing to do with this. Mm-hmm. This was me. This was in the world. Mm-hmm. It's just somebody. Mm-hmm. I got attached to it because I wanted. I wanted that. Mm-hmm. Made me feel good. Yeah. Made me get a little privilege, a little power. Mm-hmm. Make people look at me and, and bow down to me, yeah, yeah. shake my hand, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Paul, Mr. Saul, how you doing? Mm-hmm. And things like that, cast fear and doubt. Yeah. Oh, Paul said, I cut it all off. <coughs> I become nothing. The others might just be the others might know Jesus. Mm-hmm. But more when I count all things to be lost on account of what? The excellence mm-hmm. of living this new creature life. Mm-hmm. Of the knowledge, the knowledge, we talked about it earlier, the knowledge. You want to know about Jesus. Christ and my Lord on account of whom I have so suffered the loss of all things and I count them a refuge that I might gain what? Christ. I learned a lot of stuff and that stuff don't mean nothing now. Once I got a little glimpse of Jesus, that stuff needs to be put away. Because it wasn't doing nothing to me. Nothing at all for me. And to be found in him not having my what? Own righteousness. So some people got a little job, a little prestige, they feel they got some righteousness. A little authority. Uh, they they fly they flaunt it around. But mm-hmm. Paul said, uh, all right, which is out of the law, but but that which is through faith in Christ. The righteous which is out of, of God are based on faith. Amen. Every believer walk by faith and not by sight. The new Amen. creature is a is a not strange, but he's a very very perfect peculiar. Yes, that's a good word. And because his knowledge is not from the earth, it's not, it's not, it's from where? Above. 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 Mm-hmm. And Jesus said, uh, uh, you from beneath, I'm from I am from above. above. Mm-hmm. So, you are to, please you. let me talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Let me share with you some things from the Father. Mm-hmm. It might help you make it down, no, down here. Mm-hmm. Walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. The new creature is created after Christ. The Gentile, mm-hmm. the Jew, the Russian, mm-hmm. no matter who he is, once he comes in Christ, he loses his identity. Now the house they live in could be a different color, mm-hmm. but he loses his identity because of, what? because of the Spirit. The Spirit is the what distinguishes a believer uh, from anything else. It is the Spirit life that they live in, puts on display. It has nothing to do with color. Mm-hmm. And preachers that preach this call out the pulpit ought to be ought to be ashamed of themselves. Mm-hmm. Because they're not, they're not a feed that flock, probably, about the church. The church is a new creature. Yes, the is. church has thrown itself in the things of this life. Amen. You got preaching in the pulpit this morning. I probably was talking about black and white. Mm-hmm. No one doesn't know whites, whites in there. That's not, not here, but I'm saying, they, they'll welcome you. Mm-hmm. And I pray to God he will send some of you. I have no problem with that. Amen. That's the house they live in. The house I live in is just kind of manila, whatever it's called. And the house early is a little, little darker chocolate in mind. And that is a little, 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 little chocolate in that mind, but at the same time, it's just a house. Oh, yeah. Amen. The tabernacle in which the Spirit of Christ lives. And when he comes back, I'll disrobe this tabernacle and put on a, a building I made what? By the hands Amen. of man. Right. Eternal in the heavens. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what the, all this suffering is about. Mm-hmm. That we may be awarded according to our works. Any questions, please? Any, any testimony? Mm-hmm.